hello all uh, so same uh, module 5 we will continue today and watch the first part the introduction of uh, kinematics that is regarding force speed distance displacement and all so here in this session we will see uh, some more uh, definition a uh, basic definition so that is i'm starting with the motion a motion it is a change in position of a body with time a motion can be described in terms of the distance moved or the uh, displacement okay the concept is in physics a motion is a change in position uh, of an object with respect to time right the motion is typically described uh, in the these forms that is displacement distance velocity acceleration time and speed okay motion of a body is observed by attaching a frame of reference to an observer and measuring the change in position of the body with relative to that frame and the last uh, 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 session we will we have seen the relative motion i have told about relative motion so this is the definition for a, a motion okay we will see the types of uh, motion here so here main motion uh, any object it will be under rest or a motion that uh, two things either it will be under rest either it will be under motion so until and unless if you are not applying any force on that it will be in their respective position either it will be in the motion either it will be in the rest but here in this uh, session, I mean in this module 5, we are concentrating on the main problem that is motion, which is under motion. So in the motion, we have linear, projectile, circular, rotatory and oscillatory, right? But here uh, in the module 5, we have in the including the syllabus, it is in, uh, include including of the recti uh, rectilinear, curvilinear and the free fall. But actually it is considered only rectilinear and curvilinear okay first one linear i'll go with the linear in that rectilinear and curvy, cur curvy linear we will solve after that we will come to projectiles so these um, two types mainly it is covered under our syllabus first one linear motion so linear motion is mainly the motion which is uh, any uh, body which is moving in a straight line okay so example you can uh, take a light right if you are putting a torch or a light so it will be moving it will be shown in a straight line so that will be the linear motion when a body moves in a straight line or a curved line with all its parts moving the same distance in the same direction at the same speed so that will be comes under uh, it will be the linear motion for example all parts of the person in the first example you can see all parts of the person and sides are moving in a straight line the same distance and also direction also same with the same speed and in the second figure you can see javelin throw in that uh, javelin all parts of the javelin uh, the body all parts uh, of the javelin are moving in a curved line in the same direction at the same speed right uh, it is going in a same line with all the parts are moving in a same line so that motion will be linear motion okay in a second one rectilinear motion an object is set to have a rectilinear motion if it's changed its position along a straight line so here uh, you can see only the straight part a linear motion uh, mainly basically of anything like with the body which is moving uh, all the parts of the body which is moving in a straight line but in that two parts uh, it will be going to uh, uh, describe it is rectilinear and curvilinear in both all the parts of the body which is moving in the same line itself but one is straight line and one is a curved uh, motion so rectilinear motion an object is said to have an, uh, a motion if it's changed its position along the straight line you can see in the first figure and you can see in the second figure uh, the vehicles is moving in a straight line and also uh, the parade uh, everyone are moving in a straight line so this will be a rectilinear motion curvilinear motion an object moving in a curved path Curvilinear motion describes the motion of a uh, moving particle that conforms to known a uh, fixed curve. So there will be a uh, certain curves in the uh, motion. The study of such motion involves the use of two such coordinate systems with the uh, first being planar motion and later uh, uh, being the cylindrical motion. A stone thrown into the air in an angle. Uh, if, if we are throwing any ball or a stone, so it will be going in a curved path with certain angle okay so there will be a uh, two types of curvilinear motion that is planar motion and a cylindrical component so but in our syllabus we are mainly concentrating on the uh, basics of the curvilinear motion 
in a circular motion you can see a movement um, of an object along the circumference of a circle or rotating along the circular path or a circular orbit it can be uniform that is with constant angular rate of the rotation okay so the non uniform means it will be with a change in the rate of the rotation so if non uniform means it will be uh, you can't justify it will be uh, changing its uh, rate of rotation rotation around a fixed axis the rotation around a fixed axis of a three dimensional body you can see an example of each part of that uh, own uh, drive you can see both the own and the own gear is rotating on its own axis so while rotating in the motion you can see there will be both lines will be in a different axis so it will be uh, moving in its own path the two directions so here uh, we will see the equations of a motion mathematical relations relating motion variables are called as a equation of motion for motion with constant acceleration the variables will be uh, you know already we will be studying this in the uh, plus 2 so displacement yes initial velocity v final velocity u constant acceleration a that is small a time taken t equations of motion by graphical method that is the motion of a body moving with uniform acceleration can be described with the help of three equations uh, called as a uh, equations of motion that is the equation of motions are v is equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square the third one 2ac is equal to v square minus u square so u uh, comes with the initial velocity v comes with the final velocity a is the acceleration small t is the time s is the distance traveled okay thank you next session we will see some more theory parts and we will go to the problems